a student has been trying to minimize an objective function, they use the matrix transpose operation to form the dual problem, perform the simplex method, and arrive at the following final tableau. We want to determine the minimum value of the primal problem, as well as at what point that would occur, and then also determine the maximum value of the dual problem, and at what point that would occur. Let's begin by looking at the variables associated with each column. Notice how we have y1 and y2 here. This indicates that the objective function of the dual problem would contain the variables y sub 1 and y sub 2, and x sub 1, x sub 2, and x sub 3 would be the slack variables, but these variables would correspond to the variables used in the primal problem, or the original minimization problem. And notice how here on the far left we have the active variables, which are y sub 1, y sub 2, x sub 3, and p. We can also find the active or basic variables by determining which columns only contain a one and zeros. When solving a minimization problem using duality, the minimum value of the primal problem is the same as the maximum value of the dual problem. So looking at the last row of the tableau, notice that one p or p equals 100, indicating that 100 is the maximum value of the dual problem and also the minimum value of the primal problem. So this would be 100 and so would this. And now to determine where the minimum value of the primal problem occurs, we look at the last entry in the columns associated with the slack variables. So x sub one equals eight, x sub two equals one, and x sub three equals zero. So the point at which this minimum value occurs is x sub one comma x sub two comma x sub three, or in this case eight comma one comma zero. And now to determine where the maximum value of the dual problem occurs, we can determine the value of the active variables from the tableau, all inactive variables are set equal to zero. And the point would be y sub one comma y sub two, which notice are both active variables, so one y sub one or y sub one equals 325. One y sub two or y sub two equals 400. And this is really all that we need, but notice how the slack variable x sub three is active. And one x sub three or x sub three equals 75. But again, the point we're looking for would be y sub one comma y sub two, or the point 325 comma 400. I hope you found this helpful.